What do you do when someone asks you what your book is about? Do you give them a clear, concise description of your story? Or do you panic and start bumbling details until they walk away? Today I'm going to give you some great advice for writing a book pitch, whether you're going to use it in person or on Twitter. What's up guys, my name is Brandon McNulty, I'm a writer, I've been doing it for 10 years, I've won contests like Pitch Wars and Rev Pit, and welcome to my writing channel. Today I'm going to help you write a book pitch and I'm going to make it as easy as possible. The first thing you need to know is that a book pitch should not be longer than two sentences. Anything longer than two sentences is going to lose the listener or the reader's attention, so keep it short. Now a book pitch should have three distinct parts. The first one is character, then you have scenario, and finally you have twist. Okay, so the first one is character, and that's pretty simple. You should mention your main character or the main group of characters. And when doing this, also throw in a little bit of a description. Maybe mention what their job is or what their career is. Or better yet, mention their character flaw. Something that can put like a, an idea in the reader's mind and have them thinking, okay, well, this, this hero's flawed. Maybe they're going to change over the course of the story. Something like that. Next, you need a scenario. And this could be an interesting concept. It could be the basic conflict that your characters are undergoing, or it could be a difficult choice that your character has to make. And then finally, the twist. The twist doesn't have to be a mind-blowing take on your story, but it should hint at further conflict or something fresh and original that you're bringing to the table. Let's try some examples. How about Star Wars? For character, I would say Luke Skywalker, a naive farm boy, and then for his scenario, I would say he tries to rescue a galactic princess, and then for the twist, I would say and in the process, he becomes a rebel and fights against the evil empire. So if you're stringing it all together, I would say Luke Skywalker, a naive farm boy, tries to rescue a galactic princess, and in the process becomes a rebel himself and fights against the evil empire. Now keep in mind that I described Luke as a naive farm boy, and then later on I mentioned that he's a rebel, so that signals his growth as a character. And that's something that a lot of people look for in a book pitch. Now how about we do Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone? For that one I would say Harry Potter, an orphan boy, enrolls in a school of wizardry and discovers friendship, new abilities, and the evil that haunts the magical world. So once again, we have a character with a flaw. We have Harry Potter, who's an orphan, and we hint at him later finding friendship and his place in the world. And one more example, we'll do Spider-Man, the 2002 movie. Peter Parker, a socially awkward teenager, receives spider-like superpowers and must use them to defeat evil and protect those he cares about. So all those examples I just gave you, they mentioned a character with a flaw, they put that character in a specific scenario, and then they topped it all off with a twist that makes the scenario even deeper and more interesting. One more piece of advice would be to make your pitch as specific as possible, add great details, remember that you're competing with a ton of other writers out there. So if you can, try to give something specific that distinguishes you from the crowd. You really want to make yourself stand out and put your book in the forefront in the eyes of agents, readers, listeners, whoever. Question of the day, what adjective do you use to describe your character's flaw? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching guys, be sure to check out my other videos, hit that like and subscribe button for me, and remember to keep on writing.